Straight flat land, lots of cows, beautiful mountains. This place is honestly pretty awesome, especially at the, the park city. I could live there. How'd you like it, Mom? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. The people, I, I well, really like the people. Well, the, the, food, the food, the people. Yeah, it, Utah's pretty cool. Yeah, park city was cool. Yeah. So we're Kansas bound. I'm gonna charge my gimbal so it stops going limp on me. Did you 
worry about it. I'm not worried about it. Dripping gasoline all over the place. That is a big old creek. It's a big old creek. Pumping gas. It's gonna like slam into this. Look at that beetle. The crickets. Cricket somewhere else. I don't know, but he's huge. Mom. The birds are going crazy because there's lightning and and I'm pretty sure thunder. I've been in the car, I haven't heard it. But the sunrise is beautiful. Sunrise is set. Sunset. I've been yeah, we've been driving for a long time. Look at that. Dang, it looks prettier in person. But these dang birds are all flipping out in this tree, which is very unnerving. But I've also never been around these birds. Pretty insane. Well, we're gonna try to make it halfway through Kansas. So we got like, oh, that was a lot of lightning. So hopefully no tornadoes, you know. I don't have any sparkly shoes, so that would be sad. It's going all over the place. It does feel good out here, it's hot. It's hot and it's raining. But it's, yeah, it's creepy. Washington doesn't really have storms like this, so it's pretty interesting to see. Back on the road. So we just uh, passed Wichita, Kansas. We're getting real close to Arkansas. The whole trip, it was pretty cool and raining and, and thunder and lightning and stuff. And it is hot as heck out here. It's like 90, look at that. I stepped on it's some asphalt and almost got stuck. Yeah, it's almost 100 degrees out here. I'm drying out. It's where I live, it rains all the time. But it is just hot, barely a cloud for cover. It's cool though, it's interesting, just Whoa, we're almost there. Couple hours away from Arkansas, our destination. So when we changed our name, uh, this is a French settlement, which A-U-X-A-R-C, and um, everybody pronounced comes in and says Oxark instead of Ozark. And so I took the Ox part and I was like, well, nobody's gonna pronounce it right if we don't spell it. So we spelled literally like O-X. And then it's also for the bend in the river, which we're right here in the Arkansas River with the bend. And so we just put Ox and bend and we kind of put it together and the rocks cool. been brewing, which we literally are. The river's right there and that's where the big bend is. But there we go. That's, that's pretty awesome the experiences that you get and everywhere you go is something yeah. different um, and all the different flavors in beer absolutely none of them taste the same and that's what makes it so great um, but when we opened it in like beer all and he he's adamant that I find one I like and I finally found it it's a bourbon barrel hellfire it's about 16 yeah. percent like, that's not beer and I was like oh well, that's good beer and yeah. it was chocolate and you know super sweet and super heavy and it was oak barrel yeah. aged and so when we came back, we spent a fortune trying to find that. And he finally, someone finally said, why don't you just brew it? And now this is where we're at, because he, he brewed it. And uh, it, it's crazy. got an old Egyptian recipe also. Um, I guess we can get the same time. 
but it's, it uses an old Egyptian recipe and then it's finished on dates, which is where the sweetness comes from. So. Yeah, you can taste that. I, I'm more of a, a whiskey guy, but all my friends drink beer. So I, it's like, I, beer is my thing. If I'm going to drink, it's going to be beer. We used to use yeah. hard liquor. I mean, it was yeah, vodka was... Or, or tequila or whiskey or bourbon, it didn't matter. Not beer. Yeah. Definitely not beer. Yeah. That's all. They ferment on dates. So they sit in there on the dates and then the, the sugars ferment it out. And you said you you peeled each of these cucumbers. I did. I peeled and sliced all of those cucumbers and took the seeds out to keep the bitterness down. I was so, going to say that it was like not bitter. I, well, well since I eat a lot of cucumber, and then usually, yeah. typically, your your peeling and your seeds are where you get your bitterness from. So I knew to take we took those out. I love the cucumber lime. It's like drinking water, though. Yeah, I mean, you have to be careful much. with it. It's super hot because we don't enjoy it. I mean, we're, we sell things that we drink basically. So they're low IBUs. Even our, our IPA, which, I mean, it hits it at, I think, 82 IBUs, but it's not super hoppy. Yeah. So. Dang, that dragon tear is amazing. Do you get the chocolate? That is in? so good. So I, I took a trip to Ireland. And so over there, they were all about their beers and stuff. And the, the song actually kind of reminded me. I, I drank a lot of beer in Ireland. They're, like, really serious about it. And so this one guy, I was at this fancy pub and he poured me a pint and then set it on uh, the counters. I went to grab it and slap my hand. I was like, oh, like, I'm sorry. And he, it wasn't totally full because he got a lot of set. And he was like, you're not from around here, are you? I was like, no, I'm sorry. So how many there to get us here? Oh, it's night and day. That's what I've heard. Totally different. It's very bitter here. Over there, it's like... Where it's supposed to be. It's ridiculous. It really is. Like, I drank so much of it over there. It was. So, I want to like it a lot. Yeah. And everybody has said, like, it's here, it's not what it was there. It's, it's, it's literally worth it going to Ireland to take a trip just to try Guinness. And not yeah. Because it's food. very bitter here. And that's, it's annoying. Those, those are awesome. our wholesales. The Arkansas Fair will be the next one for wholesales. Because the dates in there, that does just like, you taste it. it. It's like, bam. I love the, the kick you get with it. Yeah. And then the dragon tear with the chocolate at the end, it's really, like, your stuff's very, you can tell your flavor is really easy. We try to use natural and as much as we can, like, if we can find it here. Yeah. Really cool, there's a hop farm in Google. Um, oh, and wow. very hard to grow on Really? They don't like hops. And so anytime he actually has enough to buy, we will buy hops from him. He doesn't ever have enough to do a full, but it's still a cool, to me it's an important cool beer yeah. that when we brew with something it's very that's local. Cool. Yeah, but also, I'm not really like a seltzer guy, but that is ridiculously good. I love like, this. I, I do I, I drink that anytime. Yeah, all my family members now are into like white cloths and stuff, so they probably enjoy this too. This is better. I'll tell you what I also really like to try in that dragon's tear is some pepper. I think a little bit really? of meat would be really good enough. I like a good pepper beer though. Not a lot of it. Yeah. Well, yeah, that adds a little extra. Give it a kick. We did this. So we have, I don't know if you have this up here, but we've got this uh, brewing company is called Belching Beaver, and they make this peanut butter chocolate stout. Got my heart for that one. And I, it's, for that. it's amazing. Uh, the other one, and I've noticed it's gone. Um, I think they gave it to somebody. Oh my goodness. Food. Because we actually sold it. Like somebody came in and bought this. He's from. Uh, Outside of Denmark, it turns out outside of Denmark. That's crazy. And he was he never gonna come back. Yeah. But it was a small, like it's more of a coffee size. And then all of our, our cans and everything, because I've grown, they have our little French in them because I love Oh, that's cheese. cool. <laughs> so the docks can be a part of it also.
go and see me. Oh God. <laughs> Paul Max and Caddo Gap. He's probably closed, but we're gonna show up anyways. So we're in Caddo Gap, heading to Paul Max Mercantile or Mercantile. Mercantile sounds a little more correct. I don't know, but we're two minutes away. It says that he's closed on Sundays, but we're gonna show up anyways, and hopefully he's either there or we can just take pictures out in front but came all the way out here we might as well go see him if you haven't seen Paul Mack on YouTube he does some really cool farm stuff his YouTube channel is the farmhand companions and or farmhand companion on YouTube one, 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 two, can't even read. Two, two. look it up Yeah, Tuesday to Saturday, 10 to 4. Always oh, got a Facebook. Check it out online. Some lodging available. This is a cute little town. Yeah. Alright, so we were a little late by a day. As they're only open. Uh, Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 4. So we're here on a Sunday, of course, because that's how we roll. But super cool to see this. I watch it all the time on YouTube. This is a really cute little town. It's like literally from one sign to the other cattle gap sign. You can pretty much throw a rock. But yeah, it's a gorgeous little town. Lots of brick buildings and cool old, old stuff. But yeah, too bad it wasn't open. We would have got some video on the inside, but next time. Gorgeous houses though. Gorgeous place. A sweet little shack up there. Two, three. Do you like that? So he was closed, sad face, but looked really cool. I didn't want to peek in the windows too much because he's got pictures on his on the Facebook page. But I'll link that up so that everyone can see that. It's a really, really cute little town. Um, he's got these cool chairs out front. Like it's definitely got the farm style vibe, which I really like. So it's sad I didn't get to see anybody and that um, it was closed, but that was our fault. We just came on Sunday. So, yeah, but it looked really cool from the outside. I definitely suggest if you're close to Caddo Gap um, coming out here. It wasn't too long from where we were. I think it was like two hours. So it's a bit out of our way, but it's still worth coming down here and seeing it because, I don't know, it's cool to see 
you know places you've seen only on YouTube in real life so super cool experience even though we didn't get to meet Paul Mac but that's okay now to New Orleans Smells bad, nasty, but you just wash it off and hang on. Yeah. Yeah.